Happy Wednesday, friends. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresco with a look at your one minute weather. More clouds for today, limited sunshine, but temperatures should warm in the upper 70s, going for highs today right around 77 degrees. And we are looking at some breezy conditions. Wind speeds between 15 to 25 miles per hour at ahead of our cool front. That cool front rolling through by tomorrow. So temperatures, much of our area widespread in the upper 70s to low 80s. And then tonight, those temperatures will not be dropping all that much. It's going to be a mild start to your Thanksgiving morning. And unfortunately, the bad news is, yes, it's going to be warm and humid, but we're also going to be dealing with a chance for some scattered downpours ahead of the front. Now, that front should be somewhere around College Station first thing around sunrise. And then as we get closer, mid to late morning, early part of the afternoon, it's moving into the Houston area area with improving conditions north and west of town. As we get closer toward two, three o'clock in the afternoon, it's still raining in the Galveston area, but by five, six o'clock or so, most of that rain is starting to wind down. The heaviest of that rain now is sitting offshore. There's going to be some lingering clouds. So with some of the thicker clouds, we could still see some additional patches of drizzle. Now the flood risk will be going up overnight tonight into tomorrow morning more so for our northwest counties. But as that solid line, that rain and storms with that front slides into Houston mid to late morning into the early part of the afternoon, the flood risk shifts closer toward Houston and into Galveston. Putting it all together, one to three inches of rain will be most common. Isolated amounts of over four inches in this situation. We're not talking about bayou or creek flooding. Uh, we are going to be dealing with some street flooding, potentially nothing widespread, but there will be a slight risk for or some street flooding, not to worry about any sort of severe severe weather. But there could be a few of those strong thunderstorms that throw down a quick wind gust. You'll notice the hour by hour forecast on Thanksgiving front loaded with those best rain chances during the early part of the day. So if you're not planning on heading out, leaving your house because you've got a short distance to travel, uh, leaving after noontime. After noontime, a lot of that rain is shifting closer to the coast and then we're drying out in Inland, and then much of the inland areas will be uh, looking at mostly cloudy conditions once that front moves through. It is cloudy. It is cooler and drier by Friday. So for your Black Friday uh, forecast, you're going to need that jacket as those temperatures will struggle to warm up. We'll slowly start to see the return of some wet weather late in the day on Saturday, early Sunday morning, followed by sunshine returning next week as many of you getting back to work, back to school. Temperatures drop off in the 40s with highs in the upper 60s. That's a look at your forecast on this Wednesday. Thanks for watching.